Hello, I'm at Power Morphicon uh, with Kerrigan, is it? Kerrigan, Ker yeah. Yeah, I'm really bad with names at times. I'm terrible. <laughs> so, um, yes, you're here. You're the uh, voice of Goldar, Jed the dog, as I've just seen, and uh, Magna Defender, as well as a few other anime characters. Mm -hmm. um, so, first of all, tell me about the voice of Goldar. How did you come up with the actual voice itself? Well, you know, it's funny. I was kind of Tony Oliver, the producer, one of the producers, We'd all worked together for years, and he was actually on Robotech as a... Hmm, can't think of the character. It was a very prominent character on that show. He was the lead. Anyway, he wound up kind of on the producing end of, of Power Rangers. So he actually cast us himself. We didn't actually audition for these roles. And Goldar he didn't think had much so he told me just to go ahead and attach kind of a big voice to him and since I heard he didn't have much and then we saw it and didn't think the thing was probably gonna sell to be perfectly honest yeah. <laughs> we called that one wrong <laughs> um, so he was right Goldar didn't have much for 16 episodes, so I wasn't really bringing much to the character because there was hardly anything there. I mean, I'd record a line or two here and there in those first 16 episodes. And then Tony came to me and said, oh my gosh, we were wrong. This character's going through the roof. He's the, gonna be the, the, the number one Rita's henchman. I said, oh wow, well I can't sustain this voice that was very pinched and just not an easy voice to do so I went down into my basement and I spent about an hour and a half working on the voice so that I could record him yeah and it, episode 17 that was a five-parter 17 through 21 called evil evil something green I can't remember but Oh, uh, Do you? Green is the evil. Green with evil, part one. Yes. That was the, the, where Jason Green did. with evil, yeah. yeah. Well, that's when it's like, now I understand why people tell me I gave him nightmares. I mean, he came on, and, I've, and I found the voice, and, mm. and I could record him for about 45 minutes without any problem. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, with moving on, um, was it before, or with Goldar and, and Power Rangers, was that the first time that you, or the kind of the first wave of um, voice acting, or had you gone into previous stuff like anime, video games? Or oh, no, like no, 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 no. I've been, I've been recording uh, <coughs> a ha half a dozen shows for Saban Pryor, Maple Town, um, Hollow Spencer, um, probably another, oh, Grimm's Fairy Tale. I directed actually a whole uh, season of those. Um, then Robotech prior to that. Uh, and then of course, promos and commercials and trailers and lots of looping. Yeah. So no, I didn't come to Goldar as any green yeah. greenback, no. Yeah. Uh, so for people who want to get into voice acting, um, what would be like the number one tip or a few tips that you could give them um, to actually get into the business? Well, most people would answer that not the way I'm going to answer it. It used to be in the day that voiceover came from two, two worlds. You either came out of radio or you came out of acting. Most of us are all actors. Um, radio guys don't get into any of this end of it because they can't, they don't do that. They're, they're, they're just not, they're DJs. Um, so they may wind up doing some promos, they may wind up getting into trailers, but they're not going to be getting into this end of it. Those are coming out of actors. I'd have to say, instead of jumping into voiceover classes, which I think are important, but I think more importantly, it's Getting in to the acting end of things, throwing yourself in 100%, and this is the part that I'll answer differently than most. An actor wants to get into the circles of the people that are in, wherever they are. 
the right acting class doesn't necessarily mean the right or best teacher. It means who's the flavor of the month and where are the future stars going to study acting. Yeah. It's about contacts. It's no different than Harvard Law School. Mm. Harvard is not it's so low on the totem pole for its curriculum, mm. it's not even close to a number one school. Neither is the other one, its yeah. counterpart. Those places are for contacts. Uh, I get what you mean. Yeah. So I think you have to throw yourself in 100% to the places that they roam. The right theater. Don't just go do a play, go do a play at the right theater. Oh, uh, yes, then get noticed. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. You know, uh. it, it, you got to roll with the people that are rolling. Yeah. And if you got the talent and the personality mm. and a nice style, a good solid style of suck up, <laughs> know who to give presents to know when to back off, have good timing, you got about a 1% chance, yeah. if you got all that. Uh, yeah. So my real advice is run, don't walk, do not do this. Uh, see, that's what I know it's of like, who, you know, who you know and stuff like that. Never really thought of it properly that, that way. So with, um, if you could voice, from what you've seen of Power Rangers over the time from from Mighty Morphin onwards to what you've seen, would you? Who would you have liked to have voiced over? Who would you like to have brought your like the pizzazz to to that character? I'm not following that, and I apologize. Okay. Who would I like? So, so, like? Say, for example, they come back to the show and they say, "We've got this brand new bad guy," um, but from a series that you've seen. So you, obviously, you know of Mighty Morphin, and then obviously went to Zio, Turbo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. From what you've seen. How would you, uh, who would you have liked to have voiced? Well, again, to be perfectly honest, I only looked at the shows for the first time when I got the box set. Yeah. Um, and saw with my own eyes the first 16 episodes. Yeah. And then saw, watched 17 through 21. Mm. I wanted to see my Magna Defender character, which I watched the 10 episodes of that. I watched a little bit of everything. Um, I did voice multiple, we called them monsters of the day, um, but I can't really say who else I would have wanted to have voiced, to be honest with you. I, I, I you know, I've, I've voiced so many characters that there's nobody I look at and go, gosh, I wish I could have voiced him. I can't think of any, 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 anybody offhand, even in any, you know, I, I can't, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. So, what was it like voicing or being, or yeah, voicing Magna Defender? Um, I don't know too much about Lost Galaxy, but was he a fun character to play or? Well, you know, no, um, fun. Fun, if, if you define fun as, he was, a, he was a challenging, challenging character for an actor because he was, uh, very reeled in, um, fighting lots of emotion. And I fought emotion while I was recording, especially with, when I had to make the decision in the end. He was beautifully written. It was a beautiful arc. And it was probably my favorite uh, voiceover character in all my voiceover career. Yeah. He, he was the deepest character I've ever voiced. So I, I remember the, the last scene where he was giving up his powers and, and he had the, his son, I can't remember what this son was called, but I remember seeing... Uh, I, so I wouldn't say Mike, no, but I don't it's, think... It's, it's, it, is, it is short three letters. Yeah. No, Nima, Ima, Ima, Ima. No, that's not right. Ah! <laughs> it's going to be one of those Maybe things that... come to me. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, for the part of this of thing that we've been going around asking all the actors, um, well, all the guests, we say, um, different words in English. Um, and it's like, you know, which I'll give you an example in a minute, or play the game. I've got, uh, I'll say what the word is, and you've got to tell me what the meaning is. And it's old, e ye old British. So I think Jason Narvey is currently at five, so he is winning this thing completely. Oh, I'm so, I'm, I'm so bad at this <laughs> stuff. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. So I, you're going to say a word. Yeah, so for a test one, um, the word, what does pip pip mean? 
What does what? Pip pip mean. Pip pip. Yep, as in P I P P I P. So these are British terms yep. that you people have across the pond yep. that we either know or we don't know. Yep. And you've got to try and guess what the meaning is, and then I will tell you after you told me if it's right or not. Melanie, what is what is British? The British word pip pip mean? Pip pip no pip pip pip. It's my wife Melanie. She's off camera right now. She's right there. Um, I'm not gonna get that. I don't okay. even have a guess. Right. I can't wait to find out. It means um, goodbye. Oh, pip pip. As in pip pip. See you later. How lovely. Yes. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> well, on that note. There you go. Pip pip. There you go. This one is um, gobsmacked. Ah. Oh. Would you say it again? Gobsmacked. <laughs> I see, mate, I'm gobsmacked. That happened. And it's G O B. G uh, G O B and then S M A C K E D. Where do you people come up with this crap? I really don't. Know. Say it. Say that sentence to me again. I'm gobsmacked. That happened. Stunned. Yes. And two. <laughs> Two, I got two on Narvi. Two yeah. <laughs> to five, Narvi. I'm coming after you. Okay. The next one is Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. You're full, basically, it means you're full of crap. Almost. It actually means, yes, you've done that correctly. Or yeah. So I've made a cake. I put the icing on. Bob's your uncle. There's the cake. You oh. can't give me that one. So maybe give another one. Okay. Um, the word hunky dory. I know it. I got this one. It's it's great. Yes. Perfect. That is correct. Dory. Love it. Correct. Another one. Cheerio. Toodle low. Toodles. Yep. Correct. Bye bye. Yep. And the last one, as I asked everyone, is I'm going to see a man about his dog. I'm got. I'm going to the bathroom. Kind of, yes. It means I'm going to go off and be do something else. Wow. I, we always, we've always thought that that was got to go. It, yeah, it, it means I'm, I'm going off to, uh, I'm, I don't want to tell you what I'm going to do, but, you know, I'm going off to do something. I lost him by one point. By one point. But everyone's been saying about a man and his horse, so it's kind oh, of the same. That's it. A man about a horse. Yeah. I mixed it up. <laughs> I mixed up the meta mixed metaphors. Yep. Would you like me to give you one more then? Yes. Okay. Right. Another one. Um, ba -ba 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 Lose the plot. Oh dear. Lose the what? Lose the plot. Lose the plot. Can, do I get any kind of a, of a, of, a, of a, in a sentence without giving it away? Um, I was walking down the I was walking down the road and someone bumped into me, so I lost the plot. Oh boy, that's a monster! So I lost the plot. So I I completely lost my train of thought. I didn't know what happened. It means to go crazy. Okay, now uh, Narvi won. Another one, so he's up five. But there we are. I, I've actually, it's, it's quite interesting. There's so many of them, loads it's and loads. Amazing. I mean, uh, this is great. Mm. This made this <laughs> made this interview for me. See, everyone, I had no idea. Everyone loves the game. I, I've been playing it, and people are just, just loving it. So, it's great. But, all right, well, thank you very much thank for this. You. Thank cool. you very much. There we go. Okay. Cool. I wish I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah!